the entrance antiphon, let my steps be guided by your promise, may evil never rule me. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to each other. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that school through Lenten observance and nourished by your word, through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all our heart and be ever united in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord my God has commanded me that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear of all these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has gods so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and degree, decrees that are as, as just as this whole law, which I am setting before you today? However, take care and be earnestly on your guard not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live. But teach them to your children and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. Praise, Praise the Lord Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise, Praise the Lord Jerusalem. He sends forth his command to the earth. Swiftly runs his word. He spreads snow like wool, frost he strews like ashes. Praise, Praise the Lord Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Praise, Praise the Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Your words, Lord, are 
spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the tradition of the church, today, this Wednesday of the third week of Lent, was set aside for the catechumens, the RCIA, those who are preparing to enter the church at the Easter Vigil. Today was the day of the first scrutiny. Now, a scrutiny is, well, you could say a test, but it's more of a self-examination, a conscious examination of conscience, as it was. Uh, and the first scrutiny dealt with the law, the commandments. Now, you notice that the both readings today are talking about the law and the commandments. So you see how it would fit right in with the liturgy. Now, the catechumens were made today to do this self-exam. Jesus, in the Gospel, says that he has come to fulfill the law, not to abolish it, but to fulfill it. And in another part of the Gospel, Jesus tells us, what is the law? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. Now, on this day of the first scrutiny, let us also scrutinize ourselves. Let us do a self-examination in ourselves to see, do I truly love the Lord my God with all my heart, all my soul, all my strength? And do I take that love and bring it into my home, into my workplace, into my school, into my community? This is the challenge that we face. This is today our scrutiny. Let us do this self-examination and truly ask ourselves, do I give myself to God? Do I truly love as God has called us to love? And do I take that love and share it with each other? Let us pray to the Lord. For the church, may God continue to bless and sanctify her. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord is For our elected leaders, may the Lord help them in rejecting all forms of division and prejudice. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord is For those who suffer because of injustice, let us pray to the Lord. For our community of faith, may God's law take root in our hearts and make of us a bountiful harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Luann McDonough, the intention of this Mass, may they soon come to find their resting place in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for our own personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Lord God, source of all wisdom, hear the prayers we bring before you this day, and teach us to keep your law of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Yes, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual dinner. Blessed be our Lord. Humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me. Of my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable before God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands to the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the of all this holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the prayers of your people, along with these sacrificial offerings, and defend those who celebrate your mysteries from every kind of danger, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The 
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my life, but only say the word that my soul shall be you. May the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
the communion antiphon. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. May the blood of Christ keep us safe for an eternal life. For those joining us from at home, an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleansing us of all errors, make us worthy of your promises from on high, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Give to your people, O God, a resolve that is pleasing to you, for by conforming them to your teachings, you bestow on them every favor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God.